Well, well, it means nothing when four games are being played, but <laughs> good on them. No, so but they can it. hang their hat on that. Yeah. Hey, um, can we talk about Collingwood, the reigning premiers? They go into that match against GWS. Um, maybe the margin was a surprise, but maybe not the result. Oh, I thought that uh, they were poor defensively, which I'm going to get in front of the plasma yeah. and talk about, but I also thought, Kane, that they were run off their legs in the third quarter. Like oh, There was a lot of guys cramping and everything like that, but that third quarter was four goals to zero, and I thought they were, they were ran off their legs. Yeah, they're a serious side, the Giants. We saw that last year in the back half. But now they're not as reliant on Toby Green. That was the thing I took out of this. They've easily accounted for the reigning premiers. And Toby Green didn't have a huge influence. He was 60-plus goals last year, the All-Australian captain. Now they have those options, the goal-kicking options. Perhaps I thought they were a little bit tall. So whether Riccardi holds his place in the side. But Cabman, the number one draft pick from 12 months ago. Gee, he looked good, had a couple of moments. Hogan's been good for the best part. One of the great recruits, isn't he? Yeah, he has Third been. club. And uh, Brent Daniels is going to join us, one of the elite small forwards. And, and Brown kicked four in the first half and five for the game. So he's a real athlete. And they just have far more options now than just solely relying on Toby Green. But uh, just getting back to Collingwood, I mean, clearly the coach has a few, uh, you know, sort of issues to deal with. I mean, it is only round... Oh, hang on, someone from the AFL just texted me to say it's not round zero, but it's opening, opening round. round. Right, OK, we'll correct that. He looked, um, just on Craig McRae, he looked for genuinely, um, not upset, but disappointed. Yeah. And he, he doesn't rant and rave, he doesn't talk, but he was sitting on the bench at one point there where I think the Giants kicked one goal, they went back to the centre bounce and kicked another, and he was sitting there and he, he just looked really disappointed. And it was a look on his face that I hadn't seen for a while. We're not going to overreact, they'll, they'll be fine. But Well, if he had been smiling, he would have been going to town. No, I just think he's, he's more usually in engaged. conversation yeah. and yeah, engaged in the group. He was just sitting there with a stone cold look on his face and maybe I'm reading too much into it but for the first time I thought, gee, he's he's not happy with the effort that his players have given. Nathan Murphy out indefinitely with concussion reasons, Brownie. Uh, Jeremy Howe not available either for that particular game. I mean, there's excuses weren't there? Oh, they were short down back. I wouldn't be worried about Collingwood. I think they get players back. They've played a really good team who are up for the fight in round one of the Giants. The Giants are going to finish top four again, but I wouldn't be worried about the Pies. Mason Cox, I love his theatrics. I love what he brings to the game. He's an entertainer. But, but Mason, when you're entertaining and you're doing this to Shane Mumford before the game, so going into the opposition... <laughs> Huddle there and having a, a mummy wasn't happy, but I like it. I don't mind it. But when oh, you do that sort of stuff, well, what you you have you you've got to back it up. If you're going to entertain, you've got to entertain when you play the game as well, Mason. And you didn't get a kick in the first half after that. So if you're going to do it, you've got to back it up. But you like it. I like the theatrics. I like people who are a bit, a little bit different. And Mason tries to get people through the turnstiles. Like Collingwood don't need them. But that sort of stuff, if you're going to do it, it's OK. But you then got to back it up when you come to play because he didn't do it yesterday. Yeah, no, I, th I thought he embarrassed himself a little bit. And, and Brownie's probably got a reasonable point. If you do that and then you perform well and you influence the game, yeah, no worries. We're probably not talking about it. But when you don't touch the football for mm. a half and you were a liability out there, you, you do look a little bit foolish. OK, well, the coach was asked about that post-game. Coming into the game, we thought we'd improve physically, and then you get you get here and you get reality is that everyone else is improving. Um, System-wise, I thought we were off what we have been or want to be um, defensively, in particular. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get better, don't we? Uh, obviously, that wasn't about Mason Cox. It was about the team in general. And he says system-wise, we have to get better. And I think attitude-wise, they were shown up last night. I thought the defence of the Giants, they are as honest as they come. But the Pies, I thought, were poor. So this is Cadman. You've got to have body and touch on. Braden Maynard had a poor game last night. He had no touch whatsoever. And you get exposed. Braden Maynard, now he's on Jesse Hogan. That isn't touch. That is making it easy for the opposition forwards. And this happened time and time again. Nine marks to three in the first half, the Giants' way, when it was game on. This guy was my best on ground. Yet that's his fourth goal. Nobody anywhere near him. Yet you go down the other end, Sam Taylor. You know what you get from Sam Taylor every contest. This one, Himmelberg, he was awesome last night. He's a defender, but he gave his players no time and no space. That is... I'd be highlighting that if I was the coach on Monday, saying that is what true defensive... And this is the last minute of the game. Harry Hilmerberg again, giving Collingwood no time and space. So it was a wake-up call last night for Collingwood. I know it's one game, but Craig McRae can walk in and say we're exposed in just about every department of the game.
One of the few uh, down moments for the, the Giants was the injury to Callan Ward, but their great warrior who uh, was in this tackle here with Bo McQuarrie, and it's basically damaged the shoulder. The early diagnosis out of it, uh, Kane, is, is about a month, and it could be longer, and knowing him, he'll try and get back uh, as early as he possibly can, obviously. But It's a dangerous tackle, isn't it? Do, do you view it as that? I know yeah, you commented I, I, on this I at do, the time. Just because yeah. the, the arms are pinned. They're, they're pinned, but did, do you have a look? I think McQuarrie yeah. actually yeah. tried to take away a bit of the pressure, to yeah, be honest. Well, it's just the situation that we're in. If you have a vulnerable opponent and his arms are pinned, Brownie, and you do have that driving motion after, if he hits but his head there, can you take him, though? you've got to be able to, and it, it's really difficult. He's off balance. I understand yeah. it. You've got to roll that. That can't be head first. You've yeah. got to roll that but opponent. But it wasn't head first. Or you've just got to, hit the you've got to first. stand up. Now, I don't know what Bo McCreary has yeah. to do there. I, 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 if he, if he, you can't tackle and hit the head, what, you can't do the shoulder now? Yeah, you, well, you go I just to the think elbow next? If, if he does his knee in the tackle? If it was head... Um, he'd be in all sorts of trouble. Um, so does the AFL go, OK, well, it wasn't head, it was shoulder. He's mm. going to miss six weeks. It's still a big injury. I thought he had a duty of care in that moment. So do you think he'll get I think they'll, a sanction? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I'm, I'm confused a little bit. They'll it's, definitely look at it. Um, and whether it's rough Surely contact, not. I'm not sure. Okay, as you know, I'm all for cleaning up the game. And I think arguably they were belated in the crackdown they've now had. So that's just one side of it. But it's a brutal contact sport 100%. inside you, David, the change you, around you. it. And I think deep. it needs to be in a concession. Accidents will happen yeah, inside this sport. I'm 100% with you, but they have cut too deep and they've made this problem for themselves. Brittany Gutnick's an AFLW player. She did a classic tackle during the year. The AFL sent her to the tribunal. They wanted three weeks. Now, thankfully, she got off. But the AFL after says, we're going to change the rule uh, in light of, of this incident. That was just the fairest tackle we've ever seen. This is the problem that the AFL have. I agree with you, and I agree yeah. with you. I hate if he would get suspended for that and where the game is going to be in 10 years' time. But he could rightfully argue he wasn't in control of his own body. Hmm. Yeah, but he did have the... Uh, we've seen worse. We, we've seen less get suspended, I think.